good afternoon everyone welcome back to another train simulator live stream uh we're going to be in the terrier today obviously celebrating the 105th anniversary 150th year of the terrier locomotives which sort of came about in 1872 and they're still running today on heritage railways so we're going to be well doing a run on the isle of white steam railway which i know has one um as when i went i think it was actually pulling us along there's also one at the bluebell stepney i think that's my favorite one seen her a few times uh but yeah so big thanks to dovetail games for giving us a key for the terriers um this one's by victory works i think who's done i think the only dlc actually i think is this one but it's really good so let's um get this all sorted let's come into the chat uh we have got um train spot 239 laser jet we got french doe joseph leo uh we got Stephen as well how is everybody doing hopefully everyone's all well so on this busy easter saturday we will be driving the red timetable service over the whole of the isle of wight steam railway taking control of the stroudley terrier w8 we'll be making passenger stops at haven street and wooten run around the train then return to smallbrook and then yeah we'll start and we're due out in a minute's time but yeah this is the terrier do tell me about audio as well as it is quite noisy uh but yeah here it is. Look at it's literally the it's literally the the baby train. Look at that. This one is fresh water. So they're named after places on the Isle of Wight, some of them. Love it. But yeah, absolutely tiny. I mean that and those carriages there are small carriages. And the loco wow is even smaller. Hello Sam. Uh maybe one day, Sam, maybe. I don't know why we got the tail light on there. Right, well let's get this sorted then. We got the auto farming on as usual. Um, yeah, that's good. Or oh, we could have it as the whiteboards, I think. Yeah, that's not too bad that she has that, but we'll change it to the light, I guess. Would you have the light? I don't know. The next station stop is Haven Street, departing at 1458. Uh, while waiting, we'll be passing another terrier base at the Isle of Wight. Awesome. I don't know, would we have it as that or that? Because they usually have it as that on steam railways, don't they? Like that. Which sort of is like what way the train's going. Um, hmm, what should we What should we have it as? Let's go for the white boards. There you go, let's go for them. They look cool. Um, we shall set that to forward. This is the reverser. There we go. Set that to that. Uh, the brakes, which I believe are this one here. Release them. Uh, we've already got the clear. So we should be all good to go. And you push it in to do the whistle. Right, let's go. Off in pet. Oh, we've been up to a fair bit. You can see the firebox through there, look at that. <laughs> Off we go. Yeah, a very small train. I mean, it seems sort of bending down in there. Yeah, 150 years old these are. And they're still being used on heritage railways. Love the sound of it. I don't know, Leah. Yeah. Up to 20 miles an hour. Hello, Krasa. Might be fairly quiet to begin with. Because we are half an hour earlier than what I did set it to. So. I couldn't wait to begin, so I thought, why not? How long that will make you set up our bikes all over the southeast by train? Or some French though? That would have been good. Cool. So climbing up towards Ashy, that's the uh, well, we'll be going through there. It's like a tiny little station on the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. Not a lot there. So climbing up to that. Try and sort of even out the pressure so we're not speeding up nor slowing down. Down a little bit more. Still speeding up. A little bit more. No. A little bit more. I think that will do. There we go. I think we found the sweet spot. Or near enough. Is this a real train? Yeah, of course it is. Hello, NG. 
It is a lovely train. Yeah, I think these were used all the way up until the 60s, these were. And they were constructed in the 1870s. So 90 or so years these were used for. Which is pretty crazy for a steam train. All over sort of the southeast and the Isle of Wight. Uh, apparently it's been pushed back a week. So we're going over to Wooten, uh, and then we'll be going back to Smallbrook Junction. It's had about 50 minutes this one. So nice, uh, nice scenario. And I probably will end up being on this again if I can find some more scenarios for it. There was one on the from right here to Sandown and back, um, but yeah, we we're not going to do the main line section. It's a bit weird playing that after TSW. Yeah, these are called terriers because they sort of make a barking sound as they go along. Love it. Into the uh, very old Isle of Wight coaches. Hey, there's Amanda. Oh, speeding, no fun. Bring that down. Hopefully audio is all good. Hello Daniel. How are they? I've played that game since 2014 and all the updates are pretty much all now the same, it seems. Same sort of thing you have to do. So we got fresh water on our one. I believe this weekend actually, uh, Bluebell Railway are doing a Terrier event. So if you're close to the Bluebell Railway, which I am, but I probably won't go, they are doing a Terrier event. So I think Step near Newport possibly. Yeah, 150 years out of some of these. So, a pretty long lifespan. And some are sort of the first steam train to guess. And, yeah, for 40 or so years from the first ones. Have a look at back in. All the different camera views here. Right, coming up on Ashy. Fish and chips. This is Ashy. But yeah, this is the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. So if you always, if you've wondered what the line is next to uh, next, well, like Smallbrook Junction, this is it. Then we start going downhill. So I'm gonna start getting the brakes on a little. They are lap brakes, so fairly good. There was Ashley, hello Kobe, any Omsky today maybe? But most likely. So small the train. Imagine these against Mark 1s, even smaller. Because I mean these coaches in fact are quite small. Uh, I don't know, man, but possibly. <laughs> A little bit more breakage. Oh, I think we've got that fairly decent. Just holding the brakes on. A very quiet doorlish. Oh, what are you doing in doorlish? Is it nice and sunny over there? Because we've got the beach. Or oh, is the sea bashing up against the seawall and <laughs> at some point Joseph, yeah.
Just coasting our way down at the moment. What a beautiful locomotive though. There's just something about the Terriers, isn't there? My favourite one is probably um, Stepney in the... Oh, I can't remember what the bloody... Umbelivery? Is it Umbelivery? Sort of like a orangey browny colour. Looks really nice. And the southern one looks look alright as well. I think... Didn't GWR have some Terriers as well? I have Sam, I have been to this railway in real life. In these coaches I'm pretty certain as well. Close it, yeah. Bit of a flat here at the moment. Alright. The kettle as well. What do you mean the kettle? Lovely. Almost at Haven Street. I'll have to see if you can run this train on any other routes as well. But yeah, thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key for the Terriers. I believe it's about... Um, oh, what was the price for this? It wasn't too much. I think it was like 14 quid, possibly, possibly less. Is Thomas a terrier? I think Thomas is a panty tank, I think. Oh, did they not? No, it's Southern Brighton. Yeah, I think Thomas was a panty tank. Hello, David. Which I guess is like the next level up from a terrier. Let's get the brakes on a tad. That's my brake gauge there. So I'm looking at that. And the laps as well, so lap, lap brakes are good. We like lap brakes. I do at least. A key for the, oh yes. They're just tiny though, I mean, look at this. Oh, it's got the cylinder cocks down there, which I open up at small uh, Haven Street. Get all of the naughty stuff out. Don't want a cylinder explosion. As this is a TS Pro um, train, this is, so I would imagine cylinder explosions are probably simulated so I don't really want to be getting that Hello Australia Dinosaur's in the cab with you, oh brilliant Real ads and all Yeah I saw that on the TS here, can we put that up? Maybe Looks like we're going into the left hand side platform Oh there's another Terrier there I think it said that one was W11 I think it was Oh, it's opening up the cylinder cocks, you can see that, look at that. It's disappeared into the steam. Right enough like it was. Here we are, this is Haven Street. Got the main base for the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. There's another. Very long platform. Oh, that one's off. No, don't leave us already. Off we go. W11, that one. I'm pronouncing Wooten wrong. I swear it's Wooten. Was it Wooton? <laughs> yeah, we got fresh water, which fresh water is a. Large village, small town on the Isle of Wight, sort of the far over that way. Or Wooten, is it? Cool. Right, let's open the sid and the cocks up. Oh, if I can. Well, we'll get them ready, because obviously we'll be steaming up in a sec, so. Open them, send it already. You've been to Freshwater, lovely Crazer.
He looks very happy, doesn't he? Lovely. I love how you can see the firebox through there. That just to let you see it through there. Yeah, tiny little train. And these used to run in South London as well. These were like your South London commuter trains. Lovely. See, so yeah, after this we've got Wooten, and then we've got to run it around, uh, and then back to Smallbrook Junction for a 15.31 arrival. So about a 50 minute return. We've already got the clear as well. There you go, next up is Wooten at 15.04. Lovely. Set that to that. Brakes off. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, we best get them shut. See sparks coming out of there. Right, off we go. Not too far to Wooten. Wooten, Wooten. I don't know. Fish and chips, lovely Daniel. Only got up like an hour ago, he already had your dinner. <laughs> oh, look at that. Terriers with TSW. I mean, you really couldn't go wrong with one of these, could you? Right down. Hello, Sim, how are you? You're back home for the weekend. I'm gonna coast that. We'll maybe get a little bit of power, just a little bit. It's not too far along. Yeah, this is the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. There's Wilson there, and then Smallbrook Junction's here, and obviously you've got the island line there from right here head to Shanklin, and this bit just comes off here and heads up there, and then Newport is like just there, it's like really close. Like into Newport. Hello Josh, how are you? You like oh yeah, uh, back to work Monday for my last week for doing some new job driver tankers. All oh, right, very nice. Well, we actually get positive points on this scenario. Very elegant, though, aren't they? I think one of the most elegant steam locomotives is probably the LNER A1, I think it was, no not the A1, what was it called? It was, I think the nickname was the Rail Crusher. It might be the A1, the LNER A1. Very nice locomotive. If it was like up LNER Rail Crusher, it'll probably come up. They are very good. Hello Connor, how are you? Almost there, at Wooten. Wooten, I, I, I don't really know how you pronounce it now. I thought it was Wooton. Wooton? 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 Oh, cool. Yeah, good old fresh water. So the Isle of Wight used to have quite an expansive network, it did. You had like. Cows down to Ventnor West, Ventnor to Ripehead, 
Sandown to I think Newport, uh, obviously Smallbrook Junction over to Newport, and then from there it went over to sort of Freshwater Yarmouth Way. And we'll see it now, all remains is the little bit of the steam railway and the island line. Yeah, it's great, isn't it, Connor? Good to Connor, more good. station the Isle of Wight steam rail oh, it's the Isle of Wight steam rail we're going to get extended at some point so it's really close to Newport I was looking at the maps the other day and I was like wow that's really close not where it is now I need to stop for the uh, junction just ahead Yeah, definitely, Tim. And that's the end of the Isle of Wight Steam Railway with a massive gap between the train and the platform. <laughs> Look at that. Now we'll be going back to Smallbrook Junction. Doesn't take too long. What time did it say we were due here? 15.04, and it is. Get uh, should I get this set in now? I won't get this in the cocks open yet. As we only did them at Haven Street. Now, another passenger change we need to run around the coaches, begin by reversing the train back to Wooten Approach and stopping there. Hang on, reversing the coaches? Uh, begin by reversing the train back to. Oh, I thought it said we were going to be reversing that back. I was like, hang on, but we need to go... Where does it want me to go? It wants me to... It wants me to take the coaches over there as well, does it? No, that wouldn't be right. Oh, it does. Wouldn't it have just been easier to run the locomotive to there, bring it around, and then just join up that end? Why do we have to go... Why are we doing that? Uh, is this part of like, the special thing? We get to go on this track. Okay, we can do that. Uh, just seems a bit sort of weird the way we're going to be putting the coaches there. But yeah, we can do that, I guess. Feels like we're sort of doing it the wrong way around. Well, let's uh, do that. feel like we are doing it the wrong way around but I swear we should have done it the other way don't know I would have thought we would have just simply taken the locomotive to the front and then just run it around that way don't know why we're going this way seems a bit sort of unreasonable well, there we go that's that There, uh, sure, have some. Okay, uh, well, where now? This is some sort of time limit. So there we go. Now pull the coaches forward into the Wooten runaround loop and uncouple from there. Why do we do that though? That's like the hard way. That's like the long, the lo longer, long-winded way. 
Set that to forward again. It's not a spinny thing where it is on the Jubilee on TSW. See the safety valve going off. As our pressure is probably quite high at the moment. Yeah, see we're above the uh, well, we're sort of at the uh, the max at the moment. The safety valves going. So otherwise, the boiler might blow up, which we don't want. See if the cylinders blowing up, the boiler blowing up. A lot of things can go wrong. Oh yeah, there they are. Uncouple these. There you go. Get the cylinder cocks open. Might as well. Open. There. Forward we go. There we go, they're empty. We don't want to lose too much because of that. Don't want to hit the buffer really, do we? So we're running it around at the moment. A slightly more long-winded way it seems, but... It's such a weird station, this one. So sort of, yeah, it's just a tiny little platform, it's just a ramp up and then you, there's a road. So yes, it's an odd one. Should be alright. Train, stop. If I change the reverse of direction, see that moving, there we go, safety valve still going off, if I reverse into a platform, stop in the signal box and end and wait for the signal to give you the all clear, lovely, uh, we probably want to change that now then, uh, Okay, um, I suppose now I want, I sort of like having the white boards, the white boards are cool. We'll go for that then. Right, back we go. It's a nice railway, isn't it? Back we go. Put it further back. Now it's smudging the section once they go out. So stop near the signal box, didn't it? We can do that. Sounds lovely though, doesn't it, this slow guy? A bit noisy with the safety valve going off, but that will go off once we get on the move. That will do. Oh, it's fine, Shello. Right, come on. Over there. There we go. Oh, they've just got to wait for that to uh, tick over. <coughs> oh, apologies, everyone. Uh, he's given us a wave, hello. <laughs> and first of all, an approach and stop there.
Can't be gay. <laughs> I used to run the branch lines. Now all the little branch lines which are no longer there anymore. I accidentally bloody clicked the wrong button then. That would be. Make it to a stop, come on. Stop. There we go. That's like the longest run around. It could have been so simple. But we sort of went the long way. And let's put that back to uh, forward. Forward. Yeah, probably Connor, yeah. Got a little one. Yep. Yeah, set that to uh, forward. Almost there. There. I'm not going that way yet. Come on. Forward. Alright, Luke. Go. Right, stop just before it. Yeah, make sure I think it's all good. Then slowly make our way up to the coaches. Yep, yeah, well that, that will do. <laughs> uh, couple of them again. Oh. Ready to run all the way back to Smallbrook. The next stop is Haven Street where we'll pass for W11 again. Let's say I've run around at Smallbrook. Parts from Haven Street is 15.20. Sounds good. We set that to reverse. That's a slightly long winded run around though. As I said, I think the probably a cylinder, a cylinder explosion is probably simulated on this. This is a TS Pro Steam loco, so yeah, I'll do the cylinder box unless you want the uh, the cylinders to explode, which I don't really want. Back down the gradient. Back from a little. Just got to try and find the sweet spot, uh, sweet spot for the brakes. A little bit more. There you go. And back we go. Our well, steam adventure on the Arnold Boy. Good fun. Safety belt thing, I'm so bloody long now. Should hopefully be able to get it off once we start the gradient up from Haven Street up to Ashley. Should hopefully then go off then. Oh, it's said media studies, Fraser. Yeah, that's going off there to stop the boiler exploding. Hello, Mr. Fulce, how are you? So if it didn't, well, bang. So he wouldn't be good. Get into there. Go. 
So yeah, 150 years these little locomotives have been running. Hello Quicko, how are you? They are beautiful, aren't they? All around the South East and on the Isle of Wight as well. My territory. Flattened out a little bit now. There's no speedometer either in this, but it's completely guesswork what speed you're going. See, I've got the HUD up on this one, but. I'll do TSM points. Yeah, probably without the HUD, we'd be on quite a lot of minus points. Oh, we've got 26 people, and can we try and get up to 20 likes? Thanks all for coming in. Probably be doing the Terriers again at some point because how can we not? Uh, they are lovely. Terriers for TSW. <laughs> Hello, quick, I'm all good. Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, they start to get built in um, 1872, these locomotives start to get built. And yeah, they're still running on Heritage Railways today. So it's probably some of the oldest ones still running, if not the oldest. Oh, that's quite a grade coming into Haven Street. More breakage would be nice. That's coming down. Uh, probably, yeah, Kiko, yeah. Going to the left tail. Oh, there's the other one there coming in. There's W11 of the service from Smallbrook Junction. Change it to that, that there. Otherwise, we've got the tail lights going against the coaches, which looks a bit weird. We can't screw up here, otherwise, there's no going back. Doesn't really matter where we stop, I guess. I mean. Slowly bring it in. Bring it to, well, just a gentle stop. Fair enough, okay. <coughs> there we go, this is Haven Street. Why is it not opening the doors? It's not doing the doors. Um, that's weird. Does it want me to go a bit further, or I don't know? Well, we are on the platform, so I suppose we can move it a bit that way. But that looks all right to me. Weird. It's alright. Still doesn't want to open the doors. Well, we are in the right bit, so I don't know. Uh, let's maybe do it a bit further up, maybe. A bit peculiar. Get it bang on the marker. Hello, Alfie. Is that alright? No, it's still not letting me open the doors, so we're clearly not in the right place, but this is the right place. Um, if not, we just have to skip it. I mean, we're getting operational failure, but 
that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. I'll go even further up then. Does it want me to get water or something? No. And we are stopping here. For the engineers, yeah, might have to. I'll go right up to the end and see if that counts. If not, we'll just have to skip it. Well, shit, we'll get that minus 500 points, but... Oh, well. There we go, now it does it. Well, we were, like, here last time, though, and it didn't do it. We were literally here. Because we stopped just before the water town. It didn't didn't allow it. That is weird. Oh, well. There's W11 there in the southern livery. Looking very good. Cool. Uh, do it on the Munich route. I need to get back to that at some point. In a while, final stop is minus 392 points. Well, there we go. I doubt we do have much steam in the cylinders, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, yeah, it's not a lot in there. <laughs> Hello uh, Lima, how are you? So we're making our way be fighting the grade now. Well, it shouldn't actually be too hard, but... Yeah, the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. Very old but nice line in the game. A few houses around here. Probably quite a posh area. Yeah, I'll see if there's any other scenarios for on the workshop for any other routes and then we can do some more terrier action. I believe the event goes on until August the 5th. And I know Jamie's doing the stream, a uh, dovetail stream on Wednesday, I think. So, you'll be able to see the Marvel Steel Steam trains play there. There's much. I don't think you'd like a terrier, would you? A dog train. <laughs> oh, well. Probably end up chasing you this train. I try and see the speed. Oh, there you go, that's right in front of the thingy. There you go, doing good. Lovely, isn't it? See, the thing is, these carriages are small, but then the terrier makes them look big. Or well, just makes the terrier look even smaller. Yeah, me too, Quicko. A little bit. In fact, let me look up the pack. I know it's by Victory Works. So if anyone is interested in getting it, you need to have the Isle of Wight Steam Rail or the Isle of Wight for it. Uh, which on the train sim is like really cheap because it's old. Um, I shall have a look though. If anyone is interested. Uh, this is. Uh, oh, £12. Yeah, £12 for this. Yeah. Twelve pounds for this DLC. The Terrier. Uh, not too hard. But you just Well, I mean, I got it. I've been playing TSW every day since... The next gen version came out, which I think was November. No, it wasn't November. It was... It's August, wasn't it? Or was it November? It might, it might have been with Rush Hour, the next gen version come out, quite possibly. I can't remember now when the next gen version come out. I'm thinking November, but then I'm thinking August, oh, so that's when Rush Hour come out. 
Um, it, that must have been August. Yeah, it must have been August. Um, yeah, and I got it in May. So it takes a bit of time to get, but obviously I only play for about I only play for about an hour a day on TSW. So I suppose if you come home and play it for a few hours, you'll probably get it much sooner than what I did. It also depends on what routes you do. So I do a sort of a bunch. If you just do say TGV or LGV, you'll get it very quickly. Oh, does it? Uh, quicker. Brilliant. So we come back up to Ashy again. Which isn't really a lot here. I think there's like a race course. In fact, there used to actually be another branch line coming off here. Or just like a little sort of curl going off. I think there used to be a line which sort of went... I suppose there's probably no trace of it, but it used to sort of come off here. And then curl around. So there's like a race course down here somewhere. So the train used to go to the race course. So I believe it used to sort of curl off here. Um, and then to the race course. It might be this sort of... Head here goes round, and then yeah, to the race course. This is Ashy. Lovely. Where are we go. Well, you'll probably get fairly quick to that in quick go. I went on these in 2014, it's like they're, they're just like the normal, if you've been on the Metropolitan coaches before, or most other steam railways, just like that. I mean, any sort of old coach is usually comfy, <laughs> if it's from the sort of, you know, 1950s or so, it is comfy. Not in real life, but in, in real life, yeah. Saw them the other day, actually, these coaches, didn't go on them, but saw them. Fairly steep down from Ashy to Smallbrook. And you've got, I think it's called like Long Arch Bridge or something coming up. It's like a mini tunnel pretty much. Yeah, that's nice. Smudge, hello again. Hello again. Yeah, nice chilled out stream, and thanks for coming in, everyone. And if you are enjoying it, well, thanks. I suppose thank Jamie from Dovetail Games. And he did put a post up in our server saying, yeah, this is the sort of Terrier event. If you want to show it off, well, have a key. So, yeah, I suppose thank Jamie. Not here today, Quicko. Well, not in the room. Somewhere else. Probably outside, it's nice. Just a little bit of throttle, not too much. So a very slight uphill along this bit of very slight. I guess it's about to go down again. Yeah, it's a nice route, the Isle of Wight Steam Railway, and you get it with the Island Line on Train Sim for the Terrier Quicko. It's got other A1 Strawed Lead, I think, Terrier. It's on Steam, £12.99. I have to find some more scenarios for them because there's different liveries. 
And I believe there is this sort of umber, sort of browny, yellowy sort of livery you can get as well. I'd say if there's a race skin for Stepney, that would be cool. That'd be very cool. Oh, awesome pet. I wonder what the top speed of these locomotives are. Probably, what, 40 miles an hour? I mean, they only really work branch lines and South London commuter services, so not going to be fast. Because it's probably at most 50 miles an hour. If it's a little branch line. Actually, it's quick, okay. Pretty much, you'll just know what I'm going to stream and what videos are coming. See, Mark's in Omsi 2 thumbnail on there. That will, that's what I did yesterday. Because I make the thumbnails on PlayStation, and then it just makes sense to share them on Twitter. Because I can quickly go on, download them, done. Whereas if I copy them to my USB, I have to do that, put it in there, do that, do that. It just makes sense to do it to Twitter. Much easier. And that gives you a little sort of teaser. Bloody wrong button again, there we go. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's nice book, okay. It was a nice route, fairly quick as well. That's sort of why it's called Fratch, because it was like <laughs> the whole way up. What's another good route? What's like a sort of, I don't know, one to the, from the, I don't know, from sort of outside into the proper centre of town? Like a park and ride one, I guess. They got the clear into Smallbrook Station. Just keeping an eye on that brake gauge there to see how much uh, pressure I'm putting on. That's what I'm looking at. Quite a small station, and you can't screw up here. There's a signal as well, just there. All right. And we go. Cool. Yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed that. That was a really nice run. That I was really looking forward to getting on this. <laughs> Lovely, I feel famous on Twitter now. That should do. There we go, Smallbrook Junction. And you got the island. Is there any trains coming down? We're going up. Oh, there's one there. Just missed. Is that three coaches? Where? Oh, that's. Hang on. That's not, that's, that's a steam train, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that that's the steam train there. Oh, we, we didn't get any positive points. So it seems like that one which actually passed us again at Haven Street was a completely separate one. That's weird. Because, um, yeah, on this one it joins up with the Ireland line. Which I think may be sort of fictional. Well done, busy passenger days like today are important to continue the work of the preserved railway here on the Isle of Wight. Nice, final destination reached. There we go, and uh, minus points again. I don't think it's been too bad either. Well, yeah, um, you do get three scenarios with this. Uh, I haven't actually checked the standard, but you get um, you, know, you get this one here, which is down to sand down and back in the sort of, yeah, that livery, which is quite sort of cool. Um, do you get any on this one as well? Uh, Isle of Wight, Isle of Wight, Hastings, that's a nice one. Uh, you don't on that one. So you get three scenarios uh, with the Terrier pack. Um, yeah, these ones here, if uh, if that's your cup of tea. But yeah, we'll try and find some more at some point, and well, it goes through to August the 5th, the event, so um, we'll do some more at some point, and, um, and 
uh, within those days. But yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in the usual places to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Brilliant DLC there by Victory Works, £12.99 on Steam. Feel free to check out if you do have the Isle of Wight route, and if you don't, it's really cheap. Um, so um, it's a TS version. Even if you don't actually just, if you even if you don't use the main line from Ripe to Shanklin, which I wouldn't, you can still have the Steam Railway for like three or four quid. Um, but yeah, thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.